All right, how you like in your place in this new offense? Uh, everything's looking great, man. You know, I was here for the spring. Uh, same offense, you know, uh, same things going on. You know, we, we have a great team right now. We have a great offense going. So, I mean, everything's looking great. What's, what, what's different? You know, I mean, what, what, when we see, you know, y'all line up on against West Virginia, what, what are we going to see that's different? Uh, you know, I think we, we're more, you know, as a receiver, you know, on the slot. Uh, more more mismatches against you know uh, defensive backs, uh, safeties, where we can go out wide, you know things like that. That's that's really different this year. Coach mentioned you and Kenyon Drake as two guys who can really be mismatches for the team this year. What, what about you guys? What you special? You know, um, Kenyon he has great speed. You know, uh, I just think I have, I have pretty good speed too. But you know, most most importantly, it's just like the size. You know, for me, I think um, you know some, I'm a really tall guy. You know, I, I gained a little weight this year, so. That's probably one of the biggest advantages I could, I could have this year. Uh, you know, Keen, he's a he's really a scat back kind of guy. He, he's really quick. He can make you miss with one move. Uh, you know, he gets you open space. It's hard and hard to bring him down. How do you balance putting on weight to block and be strong, but also not losing your explosiveness as a pass catcher? Uh, you know, that's 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 kind of hard. But uh, I think I think it's eating right. You know, and also getting in the weight room. You know, and trying to make it stay on a lot of weight. Um, it's hard to maintain for me because uh, a lot of it's just water weight. So I just lose it once we go out of practice. But uh, it's been kind of hard. But but uh, coming along, I'm trying to gain some weight to make it stay on. What are you doing right now? Uh, around 240. You said eating right. Is there something you've given up that you you miss? What, yeah, uh, giving up Snickers. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I used to eat about two of them a night, but now I just haven't. I can't eat them anymore. Gotcha. What's it like having Dakota Ball with you guys? Uh, you know, he, he's strong, you know, he's, he's stronger than me, you know, so, uh, he, I mean, he's strong, I mean, he got great hands, uh, coming from the defensive line, he told me he played a little bit in uh, high school as the tight end, so, you know, Dakota, he's, he's learning, on, he's picking up quick, and uh, man, he's, he's also just a great person, and he, he takes coaching well. So he really does have good hands? He does have good hands. How much have you worked at being a better blocker, and how important, you know, has that been for your development? Uh, I worked on a lot, you know. Uh, Coach Williams, he stresses a lot every meeting with me. Uh, you gotta, you gotta become a, a, a run block, better blocker. So you know, and then Brian, he helps me out, gives me little tips and hints on the field, and whatever he says, I take it and try to take it out to the field and use uh, every little hint he's giving me because you know he's a great run blocker. Do you Can you s- tell the difference? Has it, has it oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really, I think I really improved a lot from last year on run blocking, but I still have a long way to go. Who's someone you don't want to see? Who's a tough guy to block when you get downfield? Oh, you know, I mean, as a defensive back. Yeah. Anybody that you have to, that you have to encounter out there blocking. Uh, uh, Landon, Landon is a pretty good, uh, pretty hard guy to block. He's so, he's so fast and he's also strong. So I'll say Landon. Do you have like someone you want to model your game after, like in the NFL or someone else in college or anything? Oh, uh, you know, uh, Jimmy Graham is a, a great guy. Can you can model your game behind? Uh, he's he's a really good uh, receiver. Also, um, you don't really see him blocking as much though, but. Uh, He's a, he's a great guy, you know, on the field. So he, he has a really good game. I want to model that game also. That's from him. How's Ty Smith coming along? He's a tight end that we normally see his body type is that a tight end in Alabama. And how have you helped yeah. him? Uh, you know, Ty, he's learning. He's learning offense. Uh, you know, for anybody that's coming to come in and learn this offense, it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of tough. But once you catch on, it's not bad. Uh, so you know, he's been doing great, man. He takes great coaching. Uh, Coach Williams is going to coach all of us the same, and uh, he he's been coaching Ty hard. Pushing Todd, Todd's doing great, and he's coming along. How's, how's Brian? I know you mentioned a little bit about blocking. How's he helped you off the field, on the field, Brian? Bogues? Oh man, Vogue's he's just a off the field man. He's a great person, also. You know, um, anything you want to talk to him about, he's gonna he's gonna talk to you about. Uh, whether it's from football, school, work, anything. And so, I mean, I can say uh, we he's taught me a lot of stuff since I've been here, and um, man, it's been a pleasure playing with him. <laughs> anything else? Would you, would you replace the stinkers with? <laughs> uh. Ice cream, be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> honest, be honest, ice cream. So, yeah. Is that better when for you? you? <laughs> no, probably not, but I, I had to do something else. <clears throat> when, when Coach talks about the mismatch, we're thinking, you know, a linebacker on a fast player or mm-hmm. a big guy on a smaller player. Sure. You're kind of both of those. Is it, so are you a mismatch every time you go out? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, there's some linebackers out there that are, uh, you know, they can cover. They can cover really well. So, um you know, and there's some safeties out there that also can cover. You know, so not every time, but uh, it's, I get I get a good chance. You know, I have an, you know a guy that can cover me same speed. So it, it's kind of it goes even. Uh, sometimes you know uh, I, I get the little advantage, but most of the time it's, it's really really tough all around equal. 
Who are some of the better co- co- uh, cover linebackers here? Oh, uh, Raglan, Reggie. He, he's because he's so big, man. He hits you right off the line of scrimmage, so you gotta you gotta get a good release off him every time. And he, he's got good speed also. So, Reggie, he's really good at uh, covering. Coach mentioned that consi- inconsistency in performance was something that stood out when he watched the scrimmage film. Have you guys watched that yet? Oh uh, yeah, we, we watched the, we watched the film. Uh, what you do know, you think of it? Uh, you know, uh, for me, I thought you know we we did we did really well communicating as a team. But you know, what Coach said, uh, we just have to get uh, get consistent. You know, uh, do everything well. It, you know, don't be uh, you know going hard one play. And that's that's me uh, personally. I can say that go hard one play and take the next play off. You know, just be consistent and going hard every play. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.